Fox News deck this afternoon, the White House has just frozen out media organizations that President Trump has blasted as fake news. Instead of holding the daily press briefing today, the press secretary, Sean Spicer, called what is called a gaggle with reporters behind closed doors where he would answer questions off camera. And he handpicked which news organizations could attend. That is highly unusual. Not included were the New York Times newspaper, CNN, and the website Politico. That prompted boycotts. On principle, the Associated Press and Time magazine refused to attend the gaggle. The Times executive editor says, and I quote, nothing like this has ever happened at the White House in our long history of covering multiple administrations of different parties. That Dean Baquette protested and said free media access to a transparent government is of crucial national interest. The head of the White House Correspondents Association has also responded with a statement which reads, the WHCA board is protesting strongly against how today's gaggle is being handled by the White House. Continuing, we encourage the organizations that were allowed in to share the material with others in the press corps who were not. The board will be discussing this further with White House staff. In fact, discussions are underway right now. This all came to a head after a series of events. First, CNN reported extensively on Trump campaign officials' communications with Russia. Then CNN reports the White House chief of staff sent administration officials to talk to reporters off the record, urging them to knock down the Trump campaign and Russia reports. Then this morning, President Trump again called the fake news media the enemy of the people and railed against fake news. I want you all to know that we are fighting the fake news. It's fake, phony, fake. A few days ago, I called the fake news the enemy of the people, and they are. They are the enemy of the people. Because they have no sources, they just make them up when there are none. He later said he was referring to the Washington Post, which reports it had nine sources on its report. The president said flatly he doesn't believe them. For the record, fake news refers to stories that are created, often by entities pretending to be news organizations, solely to draw clicks and views and are based on nothing of substance. In short, fake news is made-up nonsense delivered for financial gain. CNN's reporting was not fake news. Its journalists follow the same standards to which other news organizations, including Fox News, adhere. Senior administration officials regularly speak without attribution so that the public can be informed of what our government is doing off the record. Just as CNN reports, previous sent officials to speak off the record against the Russia Trump campaign reporting. Our chief White House correspondent John Roberts is live on the North Lawn this afternoon. John, was the White House freezing out credentialed organizations that it does not like? Uh, that's for the White House, I think, Shep, to answer. We, we asked uh, Sean Spicer about it, why certain news organizations weren't there. He said there were only a certain number of slots that were available. But let me just give you a, a little bit greater level of detail here so that people could fully understand it. Uh, it was initially called a pool event. And the pool is a 13-member uh, group of people who represent the five networks, represents the wire services, represents some of the print organizations as well. The pool was at the very core of this. And the pool's duty is to report on what happens at a pool event and then disseminate that to the rest of the press. So everybody would find out what happened in that meeting with Sean Spicer. In addition to the pool, uh, Sean Spicer and the White House press office uh, also invited several other news organizations. Fox News was among them, NBC was as well. Uh, CBS was there. I, I didn't take note of anybody from ABC, but I don't know that they were excluded from this. There were other organizations that were excluded as well. And again, when Spicer was directly about that, when some of the excluded news organizations started complaining about it, he said, we have 3,000 credentialed people uh, who are, are uh, part of the White House press corps. There was only room for a certain number of people. We invited those the people that we thought uh, we wanted to have in the room, and uh, everybody couldn't be there. I mean, you could speculate, Shep, that there might be some uh, extenuating circumstances as to why those people were not invited. Uh, we're going to look into that further. The White House Correspondents Association, as you noticed, is, uh, as you noted, it rather, is uh, filing a complaint. The five network pool is filing a complaint as well, and Fox News 